Hello grade 7 boys and girls. Welcome back to the virtual learning program of Rainbow International School. Uh, in this uh, audiovisual presentation, we shall be discussing chapter 5 from David Copperfield's uh, David Copperfield, authored by Charles Dickens. Chapter 5 is about um, David meeting his old friends again. The setting is in Golden Cross Hotel, London, in Yarmouth, his flat atop a house near the Lockhart's, a theater, and Agnes plays while in London. Okay. You'll see a photo of uh, the Golden Cross Hotel where David stayed and where he met once again one of his old friends and that is for us to see. The new character we shall be meeting in this chapter is Mr. Spenlow. Mr. Spenlow is a partner in an important law firm who would train David to be a lawyer. Okay, after having read the chapter, we have the summary. And let's try to recall the story in the chapter 5 while we read this summary. David decided to stay in London first. He stayed in the hotel where James Steerfort was staying, the Golden Cross Hotel. Born in the city, James told David that he wanted to go with him to Yarmouth to visit Peggotty. Mr. Barkis was ill at the time of his visit. James stayed at the hotel while David stayed in Mr. Barkis' house, where a room has always been spared for him. The following day, David and James went to visit Daniel, Peggotty, Emily, and Ham. They were celebrating the engagement of Ham and Emily, so David and James stayed to celebrate with them. The two young gentlemen stayed for another two weeks in Yarmouth with David in Mr. and Mrs. Barkis' house, and James with Daniel and Ham, either sailing or fishing. When they went back to London, he found his Aunt Betsy booked in the same hotel. She went there to suggest that David consider being a lawyer, to which he agreed. Aunt Betsy arranged a meeting with Mr. Spenlow, and David was registered, and a flat was rented at the top of a house near the law courts for him to stay. He was visited by James and sat for dinner with him with two friends. That same night, Agnes Wickfield saw him in a drunken state in the theater where he, David, and James together with his two friends went to after dinner. He was so ashamed when he went to where Agnes was staying the day after. Agnes warned David of his friendship with James and told him as well that Uriah Heep insisted on becoming her father's partner. David left with a promise that he'd visit Agnes and her father in Canterbury very soon. So let's see what are our comprehension questions to be answered. We have how David managed to upset Agnes at the theater and what did Agnes tell David when she went to when he went to apologize for his bad behavior? So we shall be answering these questions in our copybook and I want to see the screenshots of your answers in our Discord group. Okay. Now while reading chapters four and five, let's answer the guide questions. Uh, the, the questions, rather, in, uh, on page 94, we have the guide answers um, after each question, okay? It's item. So who said this and to whom? Who or what were they talking about? Let's see. Let's take number one. Now, the question is, what shall I do with him? On Betsy, Trotwood was talking to Mr. Dick about young David. Okay, let's see. The second one is, this boy is extremely wicked and violent. 
the stocking, Mr. Murdstone, and is talking to Aunt Betsy Trotwood, and they're talking about David. The third one is, I don't believe a word of your story, Aunt Betsy, to Mr. Murdstone, and they're talking about Mr. Murdstone's report on David's character. Let's go to number four. I could never rise so high. No, I'm much too humble for that. Uriah Heep was talking to David, and he's talking about becoming Mr. Wickfield's partner. The fifth one, nothing exciting ever happens there. James Steerford was talking to David, and they're talking about his studying at Oxford University. I know she'll come to no harm while he lives. That's Daniel Peggotty talking to David about Emily's engagement to Ham. Seventh, I confess I hadn't considered it before, but I think I'd like that. It was David talking to his aunt becoming about becoming a lawyer. And the last one, I'm certain I'm right. You have made a dangerous friend. It was Agnes talking to David about Steerford. Okay. Now for uh, enhancement and enrichment, you may go to this link and have fun flipping the flashcards. And after the after you have uh, yourself familiar uh, familiar with the, uh, each flashcard, you may take the test on the same web page. Send your feedback to me via DM either in uh, in Discord and for WhatsApp you have this number okay uh, you have to take note that some questions do not pertain to the covered chapters just leave them skip them and we shall be uh, learning about them in our succeeding audiovisual presentations thanks once again I thank you for your time and be safe be healthy and happy virtual learning. Thank you.